we have been very very lucky to have a great advisor a very high level peer that has been advising us on many things that we can improve both ongoing issue, issues and uh, fundamental issues etc moreover both fish related and business related and uh, fish tank construction related I mean the, the man knows everything very highly experienced and uh, he reached out to us several years ago and has been advising us on a lot of things and uh, he took a look at uh, our videos he usually sees or watches our videos and uh, he thinks that the red tail catfish might be exhibiting uh, symptoms consistent with having costia infestation it's a tiny parasite about 100 about 10 to 20 micron um, and I also see that uh, like Liriae and Jiao they're not themselves not to mention the hybrid also uh, some of the fish in this tank I've been flashing I saw that even though everybody eats here and more or less okay but I didn't like that in this tank Everybody is mostly okay, but I see some something on like on that tin foil over there, and that another tin foil has a bloody lesion on the right hand, right hand side. I don't know if you can see it over there. This tin foil has some kind of white spots. It looks like mucus, but I'm not sure what it is. Occasionally, I see fish flashing in here as well. So. Uh, our advisor was suggesting to take the RTC uh, red tail catfish out and uh, give it uh, formalin bath, formalin and malachite green, which is not only for costia but for many other. I mean, it's a very broad spectrum antiparasitic and even a little bit antibacterial as well. The hybrid still bothers red tail. I don't know why. Anyhow, that's not helping RTC's stress level and immune system either. So I'm thinking I'm going to treat everything. It's been a long, long time since I treated our tanks for uh, general <coughs> for general antiparasitic. So usually we use this microbe lift, broad disease, broad spectrum disease treatment, formulated with malachite green and formalin. Formalin is just a solution of formaldehyde in the water. So these, this is about 100, milli, 100 milliliters for every thousand gallons of water to be treated. Uh, Josh and Rich from uh, Ohio Fish Rescue, they told me about this and they use it all the time. Including in their quarantine. So I'm gonna do that. This bottle treats 30 eight and a half thousand gallons it's one gallon and it, I think it costs like s about 60 or 80 bucks you can buy it online it's a great stuff they claim that uh, their formulation microbe lift BSTD DDT I'm sorry is less toxic to koi and goldfish than any other malachite green and formalin product on the market could be just a marketing trick, gimmick, or maybe it is so, and they know some kind of a know-how that they add in there that uh, to claim that. But anyhow, the, any any formalin containing formalin malachite green containing uh, medicine should not be overdosed because the toxic dose for the fish is only a little bit higher or actually lethal dose for the fish is only a little bit higher than the therapeutic dose to kill parasites so we're gonna do that uh, and see what happens malachite green of course has a dark cyan color 
So we got 50 milliliters, milliliters that will have to go into this system. About 80 to 100 milliliters that will go into this sump. So this is a system of of a 700 gallon sump and two, not 700, probably 500 gallon sump and about 400 gallons of between the, these two tanks, the two 240s. So that takes about 80 milliliter, milliliters. This system is, uh, the sump is about 250 gallons and between the two tanks is also about 400 gallons of water. I mean, if, it, if, if they were to the top, it'd be almost 500 gallons of water. So that's, that's the dosage. This system of six tanks and, uh, is 1,200 gallons of water and the sump is about 1,000 gallons of water or about the same size as the tanks are. So this one gets 200 milliliters. Okay, 200 milliliters for, for here. I'm putting the medicine where the tanks are overflowing to and the, the pumps are on the other side of the sumps, so it takes a while, so they're not hit with the same, with the high concentration right away, but everything mixes up. You can see this is already getting greener, so the medication ran from that end where I placed it all the way in the sump, and the pump picked up, and then now it's getting bluer and green, blue greener right before our eyes. This one is doing the same. I don't like what's on the side of that tilapia too. I think it's physical damage, but I don't like that those white tufts or whitish spots and reddish inflammation around them. So that's another reason to do everything. Yep, now it's coming more and more. Formaldehyde is consumed very quickly in an aquarium. So I'm pretty sure in a, in a few hours, maybe in six hours, it will be totally exhausted. So this treatment, and the same for malachite green, you can see that, you can actually see it by your naked eye because malachite green will lose color when it's depleted. So, uh, the treatment can be, can be repeated in 8 to 12 hours, depending on how fish are doing. If no problems are, you can, it can be repeated in 8 to 12 hours after a 25% water change. Or daily, again, after a water change. The, effect, the initial effectiveness is recommended, is, it would be maximized if one performed a 90% water change before adding the medication. I'm just telling you what the label says, you don't need to remember that. It says it on a label. The medication hasn't reached the pumps on this system yet. It'll soon come.
you can see the fish becoming uh, aware of that something is changing, something is happening. Formaldehyde is a very strong toxin for any living thing, humans included, don't breathe it. Don't get it into your throat or nose or mouth. If memory serves, I think, I didn't do a calculation, but the, uh, a, a working therapeutic dose is about 50 ppm, 5 zero. 100, 100 ppm would start killing fish pretty pretty quickly and 25 ppm is too low to do what it needs to do to kill the to kill the parasites so those are the numbers to keep in mind you yeah, were nice and nice and green blue here so everybody is getting a bath of formalin and malachite green right now the sump is 60 feet long so I dumped it right there so the water runs 30 feet that way makes a u-turn runs 30 feet the other way and then hits the pump you can see how the water is starting to turn blue-green here as well. So the medication reached the pumps and now it's being, the water with it is being pumped into, this, into these tanks. the same concentration so all these tanks will get the same blue green color as, as these ones okay the the main tank is or the main system is conservatively probably about 22,000 gallons of water that may, that includes the big sump which is nominally 15,000 gallons eighteen hundred gallon tank and two forty five gallon tanks but if you just count the water they're not filled to the top if you just count the water in all the four bodies one two three tanks and the big sump it's about twenty two thousand gallons so at a hundred mil per thousand gallons that means we need to put twenty two hundred milliliters in the big sump so that's 2.2 liters, it's more than half a gallon that's going to go in there. Okay, I just added last dose. So it's dark here so you don't see much. Added last dose, so I added 2 liters and 200 milliliters into this 15,000 gallon sump. Last but not least, we added also two liters to our biggest tank, the 25,000 gallon. I'm gonna have to turn the light on so you can see the color. Here it is. You can see the color when white fish come by blue green as I said I've done it many times before about once a year or per need but I think for the last at least a year or two I haven't done that much
the big tanks are starting to get a little bit of greenish tint. Yep, here it's coming. More so in this tank for now. Our target tank. So we'll wait until it circulates more. All the 240 gallon tanks are already all the fish are receiving the bath, judging by the color. I usually turn the light off because malachite green is a light fast dye, the light decomposes it. So I'm not gonna wait anymore, I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna turn off the light to preserve malachite green. Yeah, the fish are feeling something's off. Starting to move around more. Formaldehyde denatures protein inside the cells of the parasites, but it doesn't really matter to the to this agent. It will denature cells also in the exposed living cell, uh, living organs like gills. So we're everybody. Uh, every time we use formalin or formaldehyde. We're walking a thin line between trying not to damage fish's gills too much and at the same time kill all the parasites. This one is getting green as well, but I just turned off the light. This one on the same lighting and as all the other ones. The two forty five hundred gallons are on different lighting. I have just fed them, so I hope nobody re regurgitates from stress of the medication. So as I started saying, formaldehyde attacks the live cells in fish's gills skin and once it breaks in, inside the inside the cell it denatures all the proteins including DNA and everything so the cell dies that happens both to the gill cells and to the parasites it treats a long long list of parasites but at high concentration so at the concentration where the fish are preserved and the parasites are killed The list is not as long, probably about one third of everything is capable of killing. You can Google it online and find out for yourself. It treats eek, as everybody knows pretty much, who has ever had problem with eek. Costia, many other um, similar parasites. I think protozoa. Of course this is an external treatment so if anything is inside the fish it will not it will not help. This is all about external. When doing this treatment it's very important to have a high aeration, as high as possible. Aeration is usually through the roof superb, so I don't, I don't install any additional air stones or pumps. Every time I've done it in the past everything went fine. But if you're doing it as a bath, short term, 
or if your aeration is weakish in your tank and you're doing a long-term bath it's, it's very desirable to up your aeration when treating with form, formalin and malachite green Alright, so our medication is evenly distributed now in all the tanks. It's a good idea to always be here and observe your fish to see any signs of distress. Unfortunately, if you overdose, you might see it only a few days later when it's too, too late. Be also careful with this medication, don't breathe it, don't breathe the vapors or the smell of it. If you catch a whiff of it, you will understand right away what formaldehyde does. Your throat and nose and everything will get irritated immediately. It's a very strong chemical. And this is what we're trying to capitalize on by killing, by trying to kill the parasites.